Can a struggling mall survive? If not, what will happen to the huge building it calls home? Those questions facing Summit County leaders regarding Akron's Chapel Hill Mall. News 5's Bob Jones is live for us right now. Uh, right now, and Bob, the mall was just in the news recently when First Energy threatened to shut off the power. Well, Rob, First Energy said the juice could have actually been turned off today if a bill wasn't paid, but that issue has been resolved, so the lights are still on at the mall tonight. This mall used to have three anchor stores. It's now down to one, JCPenney, and some shoppers are growing more skeptical that Chapel Hill will survive. Longtime Akron area residents remember when Chapel Hill was the place to be. I remember when I drove truck for O'Neill's, I help fill the place up. In the 70s and 80s, it was a bustling mall packed with shoppers on the city's northeast side. Holidays and stuff, you couldn't even find a place to park hardly. You'd park clear out by the street, which is hard to believe. Phyllis and Dick Haft still come here, but mostly just to walk laps inside the mall. Well, I don't think there's much future here. It's almost empty. The former Sears and Macy stores are now boarded up. J.C. Penney remains open, but is there enough foot traffic throughout the entire 860,000 square foot building to keep Chapel Hill afloat? As long as it'll be here, I'll keep coming here. I like Chapel Hill Mall. I can find what I want. Summit County Executive Eileen Shapiro says the mall's future is at the top of everyone's minds. So today she held a conference call with the mayors of Akron, Cuyahoga Falls and Talmadge to discuss potential outcomes. I'm concerned about the area. I would, I would not like this to go away. What's going to happen to the rest of this area? Concern over the 52-year-old mall was heightened last week when shops received electricity shutoff notices. The lights kept on after the out-of-town owner paid a bill. Still, some shoppers wonder if it's a sign the mall may not survive and if it should be turned into something else. Maybe some entertainment or um, meeting spaces or something. I really don't know. It needs an idea, probably. Someone needs to do something to it. News 5 reached out to the mall's owner, Cohan Retail Investment Group, to hear its vision for the mall's future, but haven't heard back. It'd be nice to be saved, but I doubt whether it can be. Akron's planning director says upgrading, reimagining, or redeveloping Chapel Hill Mall is dependent on the commitment and creativity of the owner. The city says the area is zoned in a flexible manner, meaning it can be used for retail, residential, or office space. Live in Akron tonight, Bob Jones, News 5.